to just say, we are the Israelites. But we as a people, we don't believe that we are the Israelites. We believe that we are Gentiles. We won't live like the so-called white man. We won't live like the so-called Indian man. Hey, my brother, my brother right there in the grave, security. What's your nationality according to the Bible? What's your nationality according to the Bible? You know, hey, come and talk to me for a minute, bro. Come and talk to me, you just step on your phone. Come and let me engage about the word of God. You got word? All right, cool. We listen to you, sir. I want you to listen. Hey, my brother, they green. I see you listening for a while. What is your nationality according to the Bible? Talk to me. I can hear you for a year. Be a mind. Talk loud. My brother, you know. Give me that Ezekiel. Hey. Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 8. That's said the Lord God, because... That Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah. The house of Judah, the Israelites. Hey, my sister. Hey, Blue Shirt, I'm going to talk to you for a minute. You know what's your nationality according to the Bible? You read the Bible, right? Says, Come and talk to me for a minute. Hey, your brother, just one minute. Come and talk to me about God's word. Come and talk to me about God's word real quick. You read the Bible, right? You read the Bible. You So you believe God's word? Sometimes, hey, give me John 8 for the seven. Hey, come here. Bro, I want to talk to you. If we have a conversation, we are here with God's word. All right, no problem, no problem, right? But I want you to hear this real quick. John 8, 40, 47. John, John 8, verse 47. He that is of God. He that is of God. Hear God's word. So guess what, sis? If you are of God, if you believe in God, guess what? You can hear God's word. But guess what? You are Israelite according to the Bible. And we as a people, we living in the ghettos. We living in school or what? Because you brought God's commandments. You will say that we as black people, we keeping God's commandments today? Huh? Not everybody. Major you will say majority keeping God's commandments? Nah, sis, because guess what? Today, we going into God's Sabbath day. Are we people out? We looking to party? We looking to smoke, drink? We know as a people keeping God's commandments. You understand what I mean? But how we gonna get back into God's grace? Give me my future chapter 19. You wanna get into the kingdom of heaven, sis? You wanna get into the kingdom of heaven? Let me hear how God say we're gonna do it. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So when this young man came to Christ, let hope he here teaching that somebody will come to me. The same thing. A young man came to Christ and said, Christ, how am I going to get into the kingdom of heaven? How am I going to get eternal life? Read on. And he said unto him, Why asses, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. So Christ being humble said, The only body that good is my father. Read on. But. But. Now he going into the answer. Read. If thou wilt enter into life. You can enter into eternal life if you can get the kingdom. Read. Keep the commandment. Have faith only. Keep the commandment. Wait, my sister. God said keep the commandments. That's how we can get into the kingdom of heaven. Do you agree that we must keep God's God commandments? You agree? No, I want you to hear this commandment. You already know we're going. One more commandment, sis. I just want you a commandment. Because you can start keeping this tomorrow. Today, sorry. Read that thing. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman. God talking to the Israelite woman because you are an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. No, God said the woman, the Israelite woman, should not wear. So he's talking about clothing that which pertaineth unto a man. What's clothing women does wear that men does gone? Men, men don't generate. Show me a man that gone a skirt over here. Pants. That's it right there, sis. So God said the woman, the Israelite woman, should not wear pants. Why? Because they are modest. Every pants a woman gone, you can see her figure. You think God want the women of God dressing like that? Nah, sis. So guess what? If we want to get into the kingdom of heaven, we must keep God's commandments. And this one. Yes, please. Joel 2. Joel chapter 2. I know, I know you're going to die. But guess what? That's not what the scripture says. Says the scripture say render, not render. You know, think that's the problem with our people. We always got an excuse not to keep God's commandments. I tell my sister to, to don't wear pants. God said not to wear pants. She said, but God said render your heart. That's the problem. We refuse to keep God's commandments in its entirety. We want to do what we feel, but that's not according to God's word. Give me Romans chapter three, verse thirty-one. 
Because our people have got a tendency to say, I own the grace. I go do God's commandments. Grace is what can get me over the arm. Let me hear what God say. Read. Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Uh -huh. Do we then make void the Lord? The void, sorry. Do we then. Say, that's, you will say it because Christ come. You believe in the Bible, that's. Come and talk to you, brother, for a minute. Hey, my brethren, you believe in the Bible? So come and talk to me, I want to talk with the Bible. You want to have a conversation with God's word? Anybody want to have a conversation with God's word? Bring that thing there. Romans 3, verse 31. Uh -huh. Do we then void the law to faith? So Paul asks a question. Do we stop keeping God's law because we have faith? Read on. God forbid. Now he said that we should do it. God forbid. He said, hell no. Paul said we should continue keeping the laws of God even with faith because we should keep them in faith. Amen, brother. What's your nationality according to you, boy? Come and talk to me for a minute, chief. I, I don't deal with uh, politics or... No, no, no. This ain't politics. Hey, you want to give this here a chance? I don't deal with nice so... Wait, what, so what you deal with? Come and talk to um, me, bro. I want to talk to you. Brothers, they want to talk with the boy. But hey, dad, you're the elder man. You're the elder man. Huh? Nice. All right. My, apolo my apology, daddy. Daddy, we can talk with the word of God. So come and talk to me about it. So come and talk to me. He knows you? You know you, Soj? Hey, so come and talk to me then, daddy. You, you. So, uh, so you know God, though? You, he know you, but do you know God? You know God? Yes, sir. That's a question. Uh, let me talk about it. Uh, give me first John chapter 2. Uh, let me get you from the Bible. That's the issue. Our people don't want to hear the word of God. That, that, that Matthew uh, 15, right? That we put away the commandments of God because of the tradition. What? Yeah, you, give me that day, so Matthew 15. Because guess what? We got to understand what's happening today. Our people put away the laws of God so that we could do what we can celebrate Christmas. What we say, God bless Christmas, is Christ's birthday. But these are traditions after men, after which man? Which man enslaved us and gave us his religion? The so-called white man. The devil that the Bible speaks of. These are things that we must understand and we must. Hey, my sister. What's your nationality according to the Bible, sis? We don't think there's such. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandments of God? And this is the question I got for you, Israelites. For you so-called Bajans, why do you put away God's Sabbath day? Why do you don't keep Passover, tabernacles? But instead, you celebrate Christmas and Easter. Things you will never find in God's word. You will never find God telling you to keep these days. Read on. Why do you also transgress the commandments of God? Hey, my brother. You, you, know, you, know who, you know what kind of Christ is? According to the Bible. Come and talk to me for a minute. You, you are slain? You are slain and going nowhere. We people always in a hurry to go nowhere. We burn out God's word. We people should be happy to hear these things. Read on. By your traditions. By your what? By your traditions. Our traditions does make us forget God's laws. Our traditions is cause us to break God's laws. Because we got a tradition in Barbados to do it. On every Saturday, on God's Sabbath day, to buy pudding and sauce. That's a tradition. That's our custom. And guess what? We break God's law because God said not to eat the swine. But these are things that we people don't understand. We think that because the so-called white man give us this image right here. Everything that God say now, now I void. But that's a lie. Give me that idea. So give me Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Hey, my sister. My sister, you believe in God? You believe in God? Yeah, read that thing, so. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Hey, my sister is right there. I can talk to you about the Bible real quick. You believe in God, sis? You believe in God? So come and talk to me about the Bible. We, we can know the word of God. Read that thing there, Soj. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Hey, my brother Danny White. The Bible said, beware, lest any man spoil you. What I mean, you got to take heed to God's word. 
Hey, sis, you hear a girl say what? Free that is. Beware! Least any man spoil you! Why Christ say beware? Because we're being spoiled as a people. Our minds are being destroyed every Sunday in this Christian church because they teach us no truth. They do not teach us God's laws. But rather, they teach us that God's laws than a baby, which is not according to scripture. Read on. True philosophy and vain deceit. True philosophy. Whose philosophy do our people believe? This philosophy, this so-called white man. What is his philosophy? That all nations can get into the kingdom of heaven. So you're going to be standing up right next to your slave master. You think God can forget all the wickedness that our people have been through? via the hand of the white man, the toil from sun up to sundown we work, receiving no pay. Our fathers were raped, our mothers were raped, babies pulled from the stomach, and you all think that God can let this man into the kingdom of heaven. Nation is men leading by example.